New from Turk is the rotary inductive analog sensor. This new sensor operation is based on the RLC principle, resistance, inductive, and capacitance. This incorporates an advanced microprocessor and precisely positioned emitter and receiver coils on a printed circuit board within the sensor. The emitter coils are excited with a high frequency AC field. The interaction between the moving position element and the receiver coils within the sensor creates different voltages that are induced in the receiver coils which determines the position of the target. As a result of the RLC circuit, the unit has high noise immunity and is inherently weld field immune. The standard units feature analog outputs 0 to 10 volts and 4 to 20 milliamp in one package with an operating voltage of 15 to 30 volts DC. Or an alternate version for mobile equipment applications features 0.5 to 4.5 volts output with operating voltage of 8 to 30 volts DC. The new rotary inductive analog sensor provides high precision measurement and repeatability of 0.09 degrees with a measuring range of 360 degrees. The tune position element can be mounted in a number of ways, but because it is contactless, there is no wear to the sensor or the positioning element. Irregular rotating shafts can cause vibration and offset of the positioning element. Because of the contactless arrangement of the sensor and the positioning element, there is up to 3 millimeter compensation of lateral offset. The absence of a shaft and bearing enables easy adaption to many applications. Other features of this new sensor include the multifunctional LEDs, one for power indication and the other for signal indication. The signal LED will be lit and remain solid when the element is within the optimum range of 0 to 3 millimeters from the sensing face. It will begin to flash when the signal is just outside the optimum range up to 6 millimeters from the sensing face. The LED is off when the element is outside the sensing range. But another feature to mention is the sensor is absolute within its 360 degree rotation. So that if the element were to move back within the sensing range, it would be give the appropriate output given the new position of the element. This completes the demonstration of Turk's new rotary inductive analog sensor. Thank you for your attention.